Alright guys, Touch Grab back again today, hoping to join your Sunday so far once again, and today we're going to talk about what Slasher had to say on the podcast that aired a couple of days ago. Now, it is live on YouTube, I would really recommend checking out a lot of great topics to talk about in this one, but we're going to talk about a couple of them over the next few days here. Today, being about headquarters, and well, Modern Warfare, the early scrimmages that some of the professional players had, and well, some of the absolute disasters that ensued from that. Intrigued to hear your thoughts down below, like if you guys enjoyed the video, subscribe if you are new as always. Last and final call to enter the CDL draft buff, Scuff giveaway free scuff up for grabs the link will be down below as always it ends tomorrow so basically this is the last and final call let's talk about it then so slasher talked about on this podcast the fact that they went to well the early play testing for modern warfare with the, well, you would imagine, with the developers. And we've talked about that, how will, with Treyarch in the past, and especially this season. We would imagine that when you go along to these playtest events, the developers are there, the likes of Tony Flame, and, uh, well, the people, obviously, that's the Treyarch guy, but, you know, the equivalent lads over at, um, over at Infinity Ward would be there to discuss about what game modes they want to play, like, what the issues are with the certain maps. However, that's supposedly not the case. And they talk about the potential that, actually, Headquarters was a game mode that was being considered instead of Hardpoint early season. It does just blow the mind to be honest and even when Hardpoint was brought into the game well we can see what Slasher has to say about exactly how that turned out I'll play the clip on screen for you guys now uh when we w we went there to play the game early like me and a select few other players and we were playing the game and um it didn't have Hardpoint in it so we were scrimming on <laughs> domination headquarters and like I don't know what else we were playing I heard about we, this yeah so we were playing for like a day or something and then eventually, like we, I think we were there for two days, three days. I don't remember exactly, but it's, that's beside the point. Coming like the last day, and we're like all like guys, like we're talking to some people there, like um, people from Activision. I don't even think there was any developers there, and we're like guys, we need Hardpoint. Like headquarters is not like working as well. I don't think it's gonna be as good to watch. We need Hardpoint bad. So we're basically begging to get Hardpoint in. Finally, they add a Hardpoint. We're all like, oh my god, let's go. So we're we're trying to play through like the last day. Yeah, let's go. And back. we're playing. <laughs> we're playing <laughs> and so like hackney right like i don't remember if this is the exact like situation but hackney like let's say the fifth hill in that that area so we're rotating and we go there and we're like oh, okay this is the hill where we're set up i'm like all right yo it's got to be rotating back to noon now right nope it went upstairs so the hill went from floor one to floor two so whoever rotated got 120 seconds and then i was like okay <laughs> I was like, that's the sixth hill now. I was like, all right, it's got to go new, right? Nope. It went to a new spot, new spot, new spot. We're on hill 14, 15 on some maps. And we're like, <laughs> dude, we literally, st we were all so enraged. We stopped playing at the play that. test. It was so vertical. The game up. was so vertical <laughs> at, at that time, right? It wasn't like it yeah. was oh, up my in buildings, like same hill, but in the second story of a building. Yep. I, I didn't know there was no devs there. To me, that's absurd. Right. Why even invite pro players if there's not going to be devs? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. That was, that was kind a of a slap in the face, too. So Hardpoint, of course, has pretty much been a Call of Duty stable since the Black Ops 2 days, right? Like, it's been a phenomenal game mode. In Black Ops 2, it probably played the best it ever has. Then in Ghost Infinity War, decided that wasn't good enough. They were going to bring in Blitz. We played Domination as well and Search and Destroy. Search was really the only good game mode in that game, to be honest. And ever since then, Hardpoint's been back in, in good force, right? However, in this game, it does, to me, boggle the mind. And I just wanted to bring up a couple of clips here from what he had to say. This is on Backlot, for example. This is the 13 hills that currently exist on Backlot. Then we also have this one which is crash which is the 19 hills that exist on crash so supposedly infinity ward thought this was a good idea for a map layout for hardpoint um and so well as slash i had to say on one of them it actually went from p5 to p6 bottom floor to upper floor you can't make this stuff up does beg the question right have these developers have ever actually played hardpoint do they ever like have they played it back in the black ops 2 days or in any title because pretty much in any cod that i know of the games were always designed so that there was five or four you you know six on a rare occasion but i don't really think there's been six hills really in call of duty history at least on the competitive maps there's always been four or five hills and modern warfare the infinity ward guys think okay we're gonna switch it up boys maybe we even go random hills maybe that will uh you know add some excitement or whatever um but yeah this is what they decided to do for every map in the game. And then early season, people were like, Yo, what is going on here? We can't let this stand. And well, they did They did eventually you know, cut it down in early November to just five hills, basically, on all the maps. As we are in a situation now where Hardpoint um, is not great because of the spawns, but at least uh, at least there's not 19 hills on every map, right? You could say that at the very least. There was also this that was worth discussing as well. So early season, Maven said, I believe, on one of the, um, the Hardpoint episodes, saying that they're planning on having a vast 
majority of the broadcast in third person. I don't know if you guys remember back to the first event, but uh, certainly I remember when, well, they never bring up the scoreboard, first of all. They always wanted the player pictures on the screen to, like, get some sort of brand recognition or something. Didn't really understand that because it takes away all the context of the game if you don't have the scoreboard and seeing, like, what a kill streak someone's on. And that was just a disaster. And then the first event, I remember like the first ever map on Azir Cave, I think it was. There was third person all over the place. Every gunfight was being watched from 3P, just like uh, you're watching Overwatch kind of thing. And um, it was just an absolute disaster to watch. Like it's a first person shooter for a reason, in my opinion. And it just seems like the Activision guys had all these, uh, had all these great ideas about the game modes we we're going to be introducing and have it in third person, all this kind of stuff. Without any of the Infinity Ward developers there and without any like people with, you know, knowledge of competitive play and what it takes to have a good game to watch and to play. So, um, you know, yes, we've come a long way, right? We're in a position now where hopefully going into the Treyarch game next season, it's going to be a much better experience from the competitive side. But, uh, yeah, this wasn't pretty at the start of the year. Also, of course, there's the discussion on the game mode, right? Because headquarters, I'm not exactly sure if headquarters, uh, well, as we're looking in this uh, discussion right here on the Reddit, has random rotations in this game. Haven't really played it to say, but in previous titles, I think there has been somewhat of random rotations and it's not, in theory, the worst ever competitive mode, but it's just to have that instead of Hardpoint is just crazy, right? Like, of course, headquarters, if you don't know, there's a section on the map you have to control. Once you do control it and once you, like, take over as a team, it kind of gets contested. You can build up the control. Once you have it, then respawn is turned off for your squad and you just have to hold on to it as long as you can before the other team overpowers your team and uh, well gets in there and uh, destroys the headquarters or recaptures the headquarters or whatever it is then it disappears and you go to a new one in a random location or whatever depending on the game so um yeah far from ideal i mean the, the fact that you would even consider taking hardpoint out the rotation i know there's some people who say like we should just have snd only and stuff like that but really to me hardpoint's the best game mode in call of duty it's the most exciting one it's the best one to watch it has the best moments and uh well you know that difference in pace between hardpoint and Surge definitely differentiates Call of Duty, in my opinion, from other professional games. Because if we were just Search and Destroy only, in my opinion, we would just be a bad CSGO, a bad console CSGO. But Hardpoint and the other game modes definitely differentiate us, I believe. And it's the third game mode which really is the discussion, right? Like, do we have CTF? Do we have Uplink? Do we have Control? Do we have Domination as we have in this game, which isn't ideal? And Hardpoint and Search and Destroy, in my opinion, are just staples. The fact that it wasn't in the game at launch and they were trying to get players to scrim on headquarters is just, uh, well, it's just another one of these things, right? And hopefully, in future years, Infinity War will have some developer team which is just focused on competitive play which understands the, uh, the necessities that is required and we don't have to worry about this stuff again but maybe it's not too likely just to finish off the video then this from Charlie Intel once again at so I am OG this just arrived from Activision do not open this crate until August 10th at 12 p.m. Eastern time that is tomorrow there was a small letter that came with a box that says we have to send a text to a number on Monday August 10th to get the code to unlock the box the mystery continues this I imagine is something to do with the next title so we may be getting some reveal very very shortly indeed and hopefully at the world championship we'll get some talk about the next call of duty and well what it looks like from the competitive side hope you guys enjoyed the video like if you did subscribe if you're new as always i would greatly appreciate it. thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time